Hello, and welcome to another presentation in this series of videos on Datacolor Spider 3 Monitor Calibration Products. This video demonstrates features of the software that are only available in the Spider 3 Elite application. The next item in the Tools menu is the Information window. This window provides numeric feedback on various aspects of calibration and monitor characteristics. If you have multiple displays attached to the computer, you can select which one's information is being displayed by navigating to the Select Display screen using the Go menu and selecting the desired monitor from the pop-up menu there. At the top of the window, the name of the monitor whose information is being shown is displayed. There are five sections in the information window. The luminance section provides information on the black and white luminance output of the display. White luminance is also referred to as brightness. Brightness is basically a measure of how much light is being emitted when the color white is displayed on the monitor. The numbers here are in candelas per meter squared. The brightness of CRT monitors can range from 60 to 100 candelas with some being as bright as 120. LCD monitors brightness range from 100 to 400. 180 to 200 is a common range. The brightness of the monitor should be adjusted to a level that is appropriate for the ambient lighting conditions where the monitor is being used. The first line, uncalibrated, indicates how much light the monitor produces before it has been calibrated. The second line will read NA, which stands for not applicable, unless you have selected measured luminance mode in the target settings. Finally, the third line shows how much light the monitor produces after calibration. An item of interest here is the difference between the uncalibrated and calibrated values. Reduction in this number is caused by including white point calibration in the correction curve. This was also discussed in the curves window section of this video. You don't get something for nothing, so to adjust the white point in the video card, you give up some brightness. The closer the uncalibrated white point of the monitor is to the target white point, the less brightness will be lost. This is why it is important to set your monitor's color temperature preset to a value close to your target white point. For example, if your target white point is set to 6500K in the Spider 3 software, then be sure to set your monitor controls to a color temperature preset of 6500K. The next section provides information on the white point. This is the color of the white being displayed on the monitor. This is also referred to as color temperature and is generally specified in degrees Kelvin. Here in the information window, the color is displayed in XY coordinates. The first line is the measurement of white before calibration. The second line is the target white point the number shown here, 0 0.313, 0 0.329, is the XY value of 6500 Kelvin. This value changes depending on what you have chosen for the target settings. The third line is the measurement of white after calibration. This value should be very close to the target value, generally plus or minus 0 0.005. The phosphorus section is informational. Each line is the measured value of the respective full color displayed on the monitor. This is one of the bits of information stored in the monitor profile and used by color managed applications such as Photoshop when they are transforming color data from image color space to monitor color space. In general, these values should be similar to the sRGB primary color values. If you have a wide gamut display, 
then the green range will be a bit different, usually approaching the Adobe RGB specification. The next section shows the delta E value, which is calculated as the difference between the calibrated white point and the target white point. Any value less than 3 is acceptable here. Smaller values indicate better performance of the white point calibration applied by the Spider 3 software. Often, this number will be less than 1. The delta E value for 50% gray provides an indication of grayscale tracking. The value shown here is the difference between the measurement of 50% gray and the target white point. Ideally, the entire grayscale from white to black will have the same color as the white point. The next section shows the approximate gamma of the monitor's tone response. The first line is the measured value prior to calibration. The number in parenthesis indicates the amount of difference between the measured curve and the ideal gamma curve. Particularly with LCD monitors, and more so with less expensive LCD monitors, the uncalibrated tone response curve is only approximately gamma shaped. Larger numbers in the parenthesis indicate more difference between the measured and ideal curve. The second line is the target gamma value. Actually, the value in parenthesis here will always be zero since the target curve is an ideal gamma curve. The third line is the measured value after calibration. This number should be close to the target value, usually within plus or minus 0.1. The fitting value in parenthesis should be small, also less than 0.1, to indicate that the calibrated tone response is close to the shape of the ideal gamma curve. The next item in the Tools menu is the Colorimeter window. This window allows you to take spot measurements of monitors. This can also be used to take measurements of monitors not attached to the computer. For example, if you wanted to adjust the white luminance of all monitors in a studio, you could walk around with the Spider 3 attached to a laptop computer and take a measurement of each monitor's white luminance. The large area on the left is a patch measurement area. You can set the color of this to any RGB value by entering values in the text boxes here, or double click on the patch to open a color picker. However, you are not restricted to taking measurements only from this window. You can take a quick spot measurement of a second monitor by just measuring an empty desktop window or whatever. Click the Take Reading button to measure. After the measurement is complete, the value is displayed in various units. In the XYY section, the big Y value is the luminance in candelas. This corresponds to the values displayed in the information window for white luminance. The little XY value is the colorimetric value and corresponds to the CIE XY values displayed in the information window for white point and phosphors. Kelvin is the Kelvin approximation of the measured color, the correlated color temperature, and only makes sense if you are measuring white. The delta AB value is an indication of how far away from the black body locus the correlated temperature actually is. This is why Kelvin is a poor choice for white point measurement, since one Kelvin value, like 6500K, can represent an infinite number of actual colors of white. This last section is the luminance value in foot Lamberts.